Okay, let's talk about playing with your thumb. Again, we've been talking about minimum motion. You don't want to be going like this. You can. It sounds nice. But again, you know, if your hand goes, you can't play a whole lot down here. The idea is to have your thumb always above the strings. Now, I'm playing some chords here. We'll get into chords later on, but this is give you an idea. This is like a cowboy strum. Play the bass, then the chord. Steady beat. That's it, you know, if you want to play that style of music. There's all sorts of styles of music where you, you know, kind of go. But for practice, you want to be in control. So it's just. Now, playing notes in your boxes, your five boxes. Again, matching your fingers in the boxes and anchor. And I'm just using my thumb. It's just kind of, it's not, just very, doesn't take a whole lot. I'm hitting the string and then kind of pulling up toward my palm. But it's not like, it's just, you know, very relaxed. Your hand's always relaxed with all your fingers. There's, you'll see people doing this, but you have these very tight muscles. You just want to kind of like, you know, your hand's just laying there relaxed. And you just... Other boxes just so there's no need to move around. I mean, again, you know, there's flourishes you can do to look cool, but in order to know what you're doing, stay on beat, things like that, you want to again practice that minimum of motion. The whole idea is just knowing where you are every time you move around on the neck, you move your hand, it produces a hesitation in you. And the less of that hesitation you have, the more you know where you're at, the more you can control what you're doing, the better you play. But, so you just work your way up through your boxes. Then you jump to another box. That's pretty much it. When you're doing chords, you know, you'll go all the way through. But, again, nothing more than you need. So that's the key. Knowing what you're doing, controlling what you're doing, minimum motion, throwing in some cool swinging your arm around when it fits. But for now, just very relaxed, just picking it. So I want to talk about playing with a pick. I don't play with a pick very often, but I just want to give you some hints. Because a lot of people will play with picks. You'll see drawings where you hold it like this. So yeah, you got the point. These two fingers go there, your thumb's back here. Now if you hold a pick, you'll notice you see how it's almost ready to flip out of my hand. Get to there, you can see my thumb coming up. When you're playing on strings, there's a tendency for this tip to go between the strings. Now, when you start going fast, you can end up with that getting knocked out of your fingers on stage kind of, you know, ruins the show. And you may have seen people playing and they'll suddenly, like, you know, look around at the stage and they'll bend down and pick something up and they go back to playing. That's what happens. Their pick got knocked out of their fingers. Now, you can keep playing this, but I recommend playing it like this. You'll notice I've turned it totally around. So now, 
this is back here, this point. And I'm going to play on this rounded edge. The other thing is the way my fingers are situated. See how my thumb and my fingers are all tying it down. This back section back here is on the point, pressing it against the thumb. So that's one point of holding. And then up here at the front, it's also holding it. So you've got actually two contact points you're holding it down with. This way you do two on the fingers, but it's like your thumb's right behind it. Sort of in a way it ends up being one pivot point on your thumb. So I play it like this. You notice the rounded edge also doesn't stick out as far as the pointed edge. So you don't have to worry about getting as far into your strings. Also being rounded instead of pointed, it kind of will glide over the strings more. Now, when I pick, I don't go straight in. I actually angle my hand like this. And you'll notice the round edge just sort of bounces across the top of the strings. If you do this, you try it, you'll see that, you can see it, I'm getting, I'm getting caught. When you do this, you go in and as you hit the other string, it hits the round edge and forces it back up. So, it's almost impossible to get stuck on the strings. And yet, you can still play. stop in the middle of the song and bend down and pick it up and then go on. So, I've played over 40 years, that's one of the tips I've got for you. <laughs>